Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Busi and I am very excited to share with you my very simple wash day routine. So this is what my hair looks like now. Um, it's been about two to three weeks since my last wash. I really hope you guys will enjoy the close-ups of my hair because I didn't want to just pop up my face on the screen while I worked through my hair. A quick background about my hair. I did my big chop in October 2018. My hair type is 4B and 4C and I have low porosity hair. Um, quick disclaimer, I'm not saying this is the way you're supposed to wash your hair. Um, this is just how I do it and what works for me and my hair length. But do feel free to try it out on your own as well. Um, the very first thing that I usually do is part my hair into four or six manageable sections. But as you can see, my hair is already in four sections from my previous wash day. Um, some people prefer to wet their hair using a spray bottle filled with water, but this is how I do it. Um, I like my hair soaking wet before I go ahead and detangle it. Now that my hair is nice and wet, I am going to proceed with unbraiding it and then finger detangling it. Um, once I've got most of the knots out, I then apply the Anjaki's Instant Detangling Therapy. Um, it really softens my hair and results in less breakage while I work with a comb. When detangling your hair with a comb, I would highly recommend that you start at the bottom of your hair and then gradually work your way to the top. Um, once I'm satisfied with how my hair is detangled, I will then proceed to wet my hair again and make sure that it's nice and soaking wet before I apply my shampoo. I'm using the Organics Aloe Vera Shampoo. Um, it's for normal hair. It's not the best I've ever used but it does get the job done. It leaves my hair nice and clean. Um, it lathers up really well and it also smells really good. As you guys can see, I'm not only focusing on my scalp, but I'm also focusing on the entire length of my hair. I do this um, because my hair does not do well with product build up so I really have to get rid of the dirt and build up when I am shampooing and when I'm rinsing. Um, I usually use lukewarm water and how I know that my water is not too hot is I test it on my face and my scalp and if it's burning my face and scalp that's when I know that it is too hot. Um, once I'm done rinsing out my hair I'm just going to lightly detangle it again with a comb while it's dripping wet and then I'll just clip it and follow the same routine with the rest of the sections. Next up, I decondition using the Afro Botanics Deep Penetrating Moisturizing Conditioner. Um, I absolutely love this conditioner and I have been using it since 
I started my natural hair journey, which has been three years now. As you can see, I start at the top of my hair and scalp, and then I work my way down to the end. I apply a very generous amount of conditioner in each section and I make sure that all my hair strands are covered in the conditioner and then once I'm satisfied with the application I go ahead and cover my head with a plastic bag any plastic bag will do put my bonnet over the plastic bag and wait for 45 to 60 minutes to allow the deep conditioner to work its magic um, my 60 minutes is over and now I am removing the plastic bag and I am getting ready to rinse off the conditioner It's very important to take your time with this step because you don't want to have any remaining product in your hair or your scalp. Once I'm done rinsing off, I apply leave-in conditioner while my hair is still a bit wet. The conditioner that I am using is the Anjaki's Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. I then seal in the moisture using Anjaki's Grapeseed and Avocado Oil. I then apply the ORS Argon Oil Moisture Rich Lotion. Um, I love this lotion so much. It leaves my hair so soft and very moisturized for a very long time. I'm sure you guys have noticed how much I like to use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair but do feel free to use your fingers or a detangling brush whatever works for you I've decided that I'm gonna leave my hair in four sections again so I'm just gonna do this simple braid out and on occasions where I feel like I want to look extra nice and pretty I'll probably just do a high bun or a low bun or just pop in a nice wig but do feel free to style your hair however you want <laughs> done now and this is what my hair looks like I did not notice that my line got skew along the way but I am gonna fix that off camera I don't really mind but I just want a nice straight line 
so this is my hair the next day it is super soft so shiny and moisturized i am so happy with the results So this is it you guys, um, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. If you like it here, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell to stay updated. Bye!